At more than a mile and in low light conditions, I was lucky enough to spot a buck that was bedded down underneath some cliffs. As the sunlight began to light up the canyon, he eventually laid his head down and gave me the indication that he wasn't going to be going very far anytime soon. With the end of the season coming near, this was not a buck I was about to pass up, so I left a camera rolling on the tripod and headed over to the other side of the canyon. I was hoping to get a visual of the buck from atop the bluff, but I could not find him. It had been an hour since I'd last laid eyes on him, so he was either out of sight or had left. The wind was light and blowing in variable directions, so I knew time was of the essence. Not wanting to get winded, nor knowing if he was even still there, I decided to try my luck with a rock throw to see if I could get him to stand up. Rock number one stood him up, but he was out of sight so I had no idea. A few minutes later I tossed another rock. The rock throw worked, but he wouldn't stop for a shot. I let down the bow and ranged an area where I thought the next shot opportunity might come. was intense. I didn't realize he was that close underneath me. Uh, he was 15 yards that whole time. Yes. After taking a few minutes for the adrenaline to settle, the camera came open and I replayed the footage.
After laying hands on his rack, I climbed out of the canyon and got a hold of my brother, who brought his pack board along for the pack out. Not bad. Four days left in the season. As far as this canyon goes, that wasn't too bad. No. That was pretty good. 